yes people hey guys how you doing i'm in one of those really hype moods which is probably me 99.99 percent of the time new haircut new me i want people to be prepared because this year my hair is gonna change kind of like every other hour because i can do that and i love it and i feel a bit more sophisticated and suave with a little bobby like this but yeah so today i wanted to do a skincare video because i love 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 skincare and i wanted to try some like the hacks that i have seen and kind of just give you my thoughts on them and whether or not they work and a lot of the hacks i find are more like kitchen hacks because there's a lot of do it yourself diy and be at home and I'm going to be 100% honest with you guys. I like to buy everything. I don't like to do... It sounds bad and I, and I feel like this is the year of honesty. I like to buy stuff. And if you guys have known me, watched me for long enough, you will know that like if I see like an ad, like an info commercial, I buy that. I am an info commercial queen. 21 day fix, I got it. Proactive, I got it. I had all of it. So I prefer to use products versus you know trying to mix concoctions up myself however i did that in this video today to kind of show that you can do certain things at home yourself and i tried out some of the really popular hacks that are out there i also put a little bit of my own twist on it as well so some of these you might not know about so hopefully this video is useful especially if you are the kind of person who deals with large pores for those of you who deal with discoloration and for those of you who are coming to my age and you're like you know what i want my skin to be <laughs> all the way tight so number one we're going to get up close and personal and i'm going to show you what my gross ass pores look like and it is using a dental harp to basically extract pores this actually works it works so well and i'm the kind of person that normally like it sounds gross i'm in the mirror like going uh, uh, squeezing and extracting white heads but using the dental floss works and I think it works because basically it has a really small surface area basically the piece of string and you're able to kind of rub that against your skin and it will kind of push the contents of your filled up pore and push it out using a really good amount of pressure I use the dental heart because I'd seen a lot of people doing that however I do think actually just using a piece of string or just a normal um, longer piece of, of floss is probably slightly more easier to maneuver because you get a little bit more oomph however it works so another thing that is really good for my large pore having ladies is activated charcoal and combining that with yogurt um activated charcoal is literally so popular it's like everybody's using it for everything like and it's been used in the medical industry for people who've had overdoses for quite a long time because it absorbs impurities and it absorbs drugs and it absorbs like oil and grease and stuff like that so combining that with the power Power of yogurt which is something that I came up with doing I don't know if I've seen it before maybe someone's done it before but yogurt is really good on the face because it's really gentle and soothing especially if it's been in the fridge and it also contains a high amount of lactic acid which and lots of dermatologists use in high concentrations to create peels to help resurface and regenerate skin so my mind says combine some activated charcoal combine a bit of yogurt and what you have is an ultimate pore busting face mask what i love about this face mask is that it is really cooling it is really gentle and it feels really good alternative if you want to get the power of activated charcoal then there are charcoal face masks like the one i had here however i i'm not even gonna lie i'm not a fan of these pe peel off masks when i did this it really really hurt but thumbs up to the yogurt and activated charcoal mask so aspirin for a face treatment if you guys didn't know aspirin contains a high amount of salicylic acid and it can be used as a quick spot treatment for those of you who suffer from acne or breakout or like just a random spot that wants to end up in the middle of your forehead aspirin is known to be actually super useful so yeah what i did is just crushed it up mixed it with some water and popped it on my areas of breakouts and afterwards 
it shrunk that nicely. Science behind it is the fact that salicylic acid is one of those acids that is able to penetrate under the skin and is able to go into the pore and kind of change the shape of the pore and make it nice and small. This one can make you look all kinds of stupid but in the long term is going to keep your skin tight and lovely and amazing and I feel like nowadays I feel like I want my face to look a little bit tighter. If you don't use it you lose it. So facial exercises are something that everybody should really be doing and especially if you are over the age of 25 because some people's skin kind of starts to go south and as they do say black don't crack however it can get a little bit jowly so i'm managing that and um, facial exercises are actually really good and the way it works is by basically engaging the muscles underneath your face to be stronger and firmer the same way you can have a floppy and you know loose kind of body because you don't exercise the same thing applies to your face lucky for me i'm a really expressive person so i feel like my face has a permanent workout like all the time however just spending 10 minutes in the morning is a really great hack to actually keep your face looking tight and right yes another hack that i saw was the ice bag treatment and supposedly women in hollywood did this for a really long time to kind of make their skin look tight and glowy and dewy and i totally get it when your face is cold what happens is that your capillaries constrict your pores kind of tighten and it's really nice you kind of get this kind of flush tight glow and the whole concept is that if you use it around your jawline and everything it's going to help to tighten the skin now for me i can see it definitely working for a kind of quick fix so if you're in a cold environment it constricts but i think eventually in the long term it's going to relax however there's some people who actually like ice roll every single day every single morning and they say that that is the reason why they have a tight non-saggy looking face however there are some slight side effects especially if you have quite thin or quite delicate skin you can end up with broken capillaries so for me this hack comes with a warning you say potato and i say potato 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 so potatoes on the face potato on the face what's my thoughts on that i mean i prefer to eat potatoes versus putting them on my face because potatoes are life um however i completely a hundred percent get this now i think people have moved away of this concept of like rubbing lemon on your face because lemon itself because of the high acidic content is really quite harsh but the benefits of vitamin c are obviously amazing in something like a sweet potato you can get the exact same benefits of um high levels of vitamin c without the crazy level of acidity that you can get in a lemon and for people who've got like really dark bags or dark marks just rubbing a bit of potato don't lick it because raw potato isn't good for you um but yeah you can rub some potato in those areas and it will actually help your skin one because potato juice is also quite um, nourishing it contains really good antioxidants and it's just some added moisture and again that vitamin C nature's answer to dark marks and breaking down pigment that you don't necessarily want finally steaming who doesn't steam? I mean, I was going to say who doesn't steam, but I don't steam regularly. And now I need to. Facial steaming is really good. It adds moisture back. It opens the pores. It's great for extraction. However, what is better than steaming or the extra juicy hack is steaming with rose water. Rose water is one of those things that you can actually get at the pharmacy because it's so beneficial for so many things. It contains lots of antioxidants. It's really gentle and nourishing on the skin, especially if it's combined with glycerin so if you want to steam your face which you can use actually a professional steamer or you can use a hot bowl of water steaming with the beloved rose water is even better and it smells delicious as well so guys those are some of my thoughts on those skincare hacks that are out there that i didn't even know about some of these so hopefully you find them useful you might do them i might do them a bit more regularly i know i've said that i'm someone who likes to buy buy everything but you know what once in a while there's some things that you might be able to find in your kitchen that are just as useful so guys thank you for watching if you're not already subscribed please make sure you subscribe um, turn on your notifications, give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more skincare hacks and in the meantime I will catch you later. Bye!
guys welcome to my channel I feel so ridiculous like this but so cool at the same time 